What does a PhD has to do with this? What does a PhD has to do with this? Or what does this have to do with a PhD? Explain it to me. Because I'm kind of slow, so I'm trying to figure out if it's just me or, you know, just the fact that I'm not as quick as you are. Right? And what you'll find, and I've seen this, I've been studying it, is that a lot of people's uh, superpowers, their creative superpowers, was left inside a college dormitory or a study in a room. Their creative superpowers. Because you do have creative superpowers. You understand? Now, if you look at the types of intelligence, what I got here, you got intrapersonal intelligence. It says there are nine types of intelligence. I think it's more. Well, let's just go by this quick Google search. It says intrapersonal intelligence, partial, partial intelligence, naturalist intelligence, musical intelligence, logical, mathematical intelligence, existential intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, and bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Okay, just a quick Google search. Nothing fancy schmancy. Quick Google search. It shows you the types of intelligence. So you're in that college dormitory and you're studying and you can't pass that test. You can't pass this test. Some people even beat themselves down thinking that they're dumb. They're no good for the subject area and it couldn't be further from the truth. A lot of times you could be studying to become an attorney, legal attorney, and your real calling and your gift is probably to be a shipbuilder. <laughs> you understand me? And if you're a thinker like myself, you'll figure it out with time that what am I doing? Thousands of millions of people have wasted most of their life um, in fields and areas that really has nothing to do with them. Right, but it just was a structure that was created, and you followed the path. Right, you followed the path, went down the rabbit hole because that's what you were told. But if you really study yourself, and I strongly suggest you do, you realize that you have superpowers, creative superpowers, right, and your intelligence is vast and wide in different areas. Right, not only just what you went to college to do, and I'm not bashing college, okay, because education does help to do a lot. But while education is good, you will also realize that some of the most educated and well studied people in today's society are now bona fide YouTubers. <laughs> You understand? Because college helped them to realize that what they're doing, they can really do more. And sometimes it's also helped them to realize that what they're doing is really bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because you have no creative control. You don't have any say-so in a lot of things you do. The, the whole mold system is... Go to college, get a PhD, get a master's, whatever it is, your area of studies, right? That whole process, you do a million different tests, a system that's controlled by them so they can make money off you. You graduate college, now you have a student loan that you got to pay back to them with interest, okay? Then you get a license in whatever field you studied in. You have a license, right? Attorney's got to take the bar exam. Medical doctors got some type of medical license. Nurses, same thing. Now you got a license, right? Who controlled the license? Them. Powers that be. Okay, they control that license. So you got to do a test to get that license. And you got to go all through this process. And then when you're at work, guess what? They're still controlling your work hours. So what do you control, really? The answer is nothing. So you're paying them to control you for a small fee at the end of the work week, two weeks, or whatever. However often you get paid. 
That's what it comes down to, right? You're, you're paying them to control you. And if you study the laws of chemistry, physics, and mathematics, somewhere along the road, you're going to realize that this makes absolutely zero sense. It's a good idea. But on the long term, what you'll find is that you're either going to get laid off your hours are getting cut or you're forced into retirement or you get fired. When this occurs, and it will, right? What do you have for yourself? What can you lean back onto and say, okay, well, that happened, but at least I can do this to still make a living for myself. Most of the times, it's nothing. Most people will be like, oh, I've been... Working for 25 years this place, I get laid off. They just gave me a pink slip and a little bit of money, and that's it. Or I got fired. I got to go to the unemployment line. You know, nothing good. Nothing that works in your favor to comfort your life or anything you're doing. What I would advise, and I strongly advise, is that and recommend. I'm not telling you. Recommend and suggest. That's what I prefer to do. Create something for yourself. Find some. It's not for everybody. So let's get that clear. It's not for everybody. But create something for yourself that's lucrative. That you can make a um, you can make some type of uh, income from. Okay. It could be a hobby. Turn into something that's productive or whatever. It could be anything. You get what I'm saying? That's it. Now, what they will make it seem to be is that you cannot survive without their system. Their shit system. That's how they make it out to be. But guess what? The people who built the Great Pyramids in Gaza, Egypt, Great Pyramids of Gaza, Egypt, wherever. Did they go to college? <laughs> the people who made the boats who transported slaves in those boats. Were they college grads? Did they have a PhD and a master's in engineering and a PhD in engineering, electrical science? Or did they have that? Or were they just people who were talented and gifted naturally and tried to survive and figured out a way how to screw over some people while they survive? You understand what I'm saying? These are things you got to look at. And I can go on. It's a long list. And what you'll find is that there was no colleges, structure system like they have today. And these structure systems that collect your money, right? And um, so you could pay them back forever. And this is not to say you should quit your job tomorrow and pick up your hobby as, a, as, as your source of... That, that, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. This is not to say that colleges are bad. Let's look at the facts. Look at the laws and rules of mathematics, physics, and chemistry, which I'm not going to get into. Okay, because a baby should be able to understand these videos. For what I'm saying. Any person should be able to understand. You understand what I'm saying? A whole structure design... For you to pay into and pay them that you have zero, not even 0.1%, zero control over. It's a whole control system. You understand? So that's my argument is that there's so many people out there with so many gifts, right? And their superpowers is left inside a college dormitory. Because they don't realize that they have those superpowers. They don't realize the amount of things they could do with their minds. It doesn't have to be this, you know, doing leather and stuff like that. This is something you got to love to do because it's painstaking. It takes a lot of time with intricate details and stuff like that. You can see that. You understand? Intricate details. It's time consuming. You got to put stuff together, really, to have something. And it's not perfect, but it's good. Right? Yeah. So from top to bottom, 
intricate details. You got to paint, different colors you got to paint, you got to cut out, right? And you got a toe strap right here. Then you got to get soft leather, soft leather. This is soft leather. Okay, this is Kodiak leather, bare skin. This is Kodiak leather, bare skin. It's very oily, it's very soft. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is um, big, big tan leather, right? It's a synthetic type leather, right? But it's very strong. You understand? I think this is cow's high in the bottom right here. Cow high. The same thing they use to make like horse saddles and stuff like that is the bottom right here. Okay? And then I glued, after sewing this thread right here, right around, after sewing it on that, then, you know, I glued that top piece to the cow's hide in the bottom. Of course, another piece of big tan leather right here. Okay. Glue that to that just for the heel. Very thin layer. Right. And then you got to cut this out for the, the, the top part section of the foot. And then um, glue it in. Glue it in. Same thing with here. You got to cut out the hole. So it's pain stick. It's not for everybody. How did I start doing this stuff right here? All I needed was a belt. I think it was 2017, somewhere around there. And I start experimenting with leather. It's a very expensive hobby, right? Because these materials are very expensive, okay? But I start playing with it, playing with it, started from a belt, okay? And then I started messing with wallets. Then I started messing with sandals. Okay, and some of them were very rough at the beginning because I was just using anything to make right here, not realizing that you need a softer thing for the foot, toes, and stuff like that. And then the measurements would be crappy, this, that, whatever. But if you keep doing it over time, you will get it down to a good um, space, how far you need it to be. Okay, what if I had started this say when I was 22 years old or 19, 18. Imagine how good I would be at doing this. Superpowers. You know what I'm saying? Do I have to buy a sandals? No, I could make it. Do you have to do it? No, you could make it. If it's something you like and you're into, you could do it yourself. While studying in college, while you have a job, you could do all this stuff right here. There's a lot of materials and little tools you got to get, but you can do it. Don't leave your superpowers, your creative powers inside a college dormitory. You understand? Because that's what you can control outside of their system. You can control this. You make it the way you want, design it the way you want, or whosoever you're making it for. This is, this is a product that was made by you. You can do it in your basement. You can do it in your garage. You, you can do it in your attic, a spare bedroom. If you have space in the kitchen, wherever you feel comfortable doing this, at, at home. No office space. Okay, you don't have an office space. You don't have an overhead that you got to be paying a lease. You get know what I'm saying? And it's not something that you're full on doing. So you can slowly progress and you'll learn all from the university of where YouTube, that's where this whole thing started. You get what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, you can do this also. It's not that hard. You gotta be patient. You gotta be very patient and then you'll learn as you go. You understand? But if you look back in history, you will see that the people who created all these things, for example, all these temples they have in Mexico or whatever, did those people go to college? You, you get what I'm saying? They're skilled people who try to survive. Skilled people. People who built ships two, three hundred years ago. Did they go to college to learn how to build ships? The whole system is designed for you to pay into. You have zero control and you get nothing out of them. Is the point I'm trying to make here. And it's, this is, like I said, it's not an invitation to quit your job. But somewhere along the road, 
I think you should be more self-reliant. Learn to rely on yourself and do things yourself. Do things yourself. You understand? Because when they lay you off, fire you, make you redundant, force you into retirement, cut you hours, what do you have to go back to for yourself? And then you're going to be pissed off and be like, man, look how many years I spent in college. This, that, that, that. Okay, you have a lot of college graduates. And you do need these college graduates. Because who doesn't need a good doctor or a good uh, physician or whatever, you know, certified, whatever, to take your stuff? Everyone does. Okay? Someone who knows what they're doing. Those people are needed. You need these people in society. But as you can also see, in society... A lot of these people have moved into self-reliance because they figured it out. What you're dealing with in society today is a broken system that works for those who created it and barely works for those who keep it going, which is you, employees. A few lucky people will slip through the cracks and be like, oh, yeah, look, I, I made it right here. I did all this stuff right here. But I'm not concerned about the few people. My concern is the majority of people. Are they making it through this bullshit? The answer is really no. The answer is really no. You don't have to be a mathematician. You don't have to be a person who studies population growth, decrease, you know, you don't have to do none of that. Look around you and you'll see what's going on. It's broken. If it was working for most people, people would not leave. Right? And some of these same folks are coming out now and making videos about what's going on and they're showing you. They're showing you that, look, this is what I've done because I was told to do so. And these were my results after 10, 15, 20 years. They're superpowers. And that's when your brain is more powerful. When, when you're young and have youth in you, right? Your brain is powerful because you have, at that time, this is where your creativity is sparking. Bzz, bzz, bzz. All your creativity is just going left, right, right. You understand? But guess what? You took those brain powers and invested into college, expecting a return. Now you're not getting a return. If you're not dealing with a broken job market, you're dealing with toxic bosses, you're dealing with getting laid off, Right, and there are jobs out there, so don't get it twisted. You're, but the majority, right? You're, you're, you're dealing with all this stuff. The smart thing to do: set something up for yourself. It doesn't have to be this right here. Do something for you. Start relying more on yourself versus relying on them. And I'm telling you from a lot of years of experience, because if you put your soul life, the future of your kids, welfare of your wife, husband, whatever, you could be setting up yourself to hurt yourself. I promise you. You understand? So keep working with them. Don't quit your job. Don't quit college. Finish your college degree. Keep working your job. Put in retirement, whatever. You understand? But understand this. You will never fail you. But they will fail you if it comes down to it. If it comes down to it, they will fail you. They're not going to be so concerned about how you're going to survive your job. They're more concerned about how they're going to survive. How much money their shareholders are going to make. Are they going to lose because they're not in the losing business. Venture capitalists, all these people. You understand? They're not into that. They're into the winning business. So you got to be in that same business too. Your mindset got to be in that business. You understand what I'm saying?
This is Big Muscle. I'm always on the hustle. Catch me in the next video. Peace.